It's me, JD. League of Maidens, a game that came out like a month ago, but I haven't gone around to play it. I've downloaded it, but I still haven't made anything about it. This game looks great, and it kind of reminds me of that one meme that was like, you know, this this game is like the male fantasy, except that it actually is. But um, I'm a bit afraid to play it because the reviews have not been very good. We're going to look at the reviews real quick before we actually play it. 19 hours on record. Since this game is now released to the public, I am no longer bound by the NDA I signed. You signed an NDA for this game? That's gr what? Why didn't I sign an NDA for this game? I would have played it. Holy crap, this guy's 127 hours on it. Thought the game would be something else, but long awaited came for Woohoo's stayed for gameplay. The character customization is too immersive, and the story is great so far in episode one. But beware, it does feel like grinding, and you might hit the wall at the end because of rep. Repetitiveness. My gaming rig is an overclocked beast, and while only on menu page, it took pause and I heard my cooling fans all spool up to max when checking CPU and GPU were nearly 100%. My gaming rig is an overclocked beast? I, <laughs> I don't think anyone who has a gaming rig that is an overclocked beast would say that their gaming rig is an overclocked beast. Holy crap, this guy has a lot of hours too. I stumbled across this game because of recommended story, and I'm in love. Even if this game is not targeted at a female audience, it does a great job of customizing characters and aesthetics. Not targeted at a female audience? I don't know what you're talking about. This seems all inclusive to me. Oh my god, this guy has almost 300 hours in this game. There are a lot of- oh, wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a really in-depth review. Trash game. Developers are a bunch of babies. If you say one thing they don't like about the game, they will ban you. Don't waste your time, far better off going outside and getting some exercise, playing Pokemon Go, or literally anything else. Imagine paying $200 to someone to make a chair. After that guy made it, imagine him asking $200 more to give you that chair. That's what this game is. Wait a minute. 42 hours at review time, 180 hours on record. Pay, then pay again, pay more and more. Game offer nothing in return, no thanks. Dude, you played it for like... 130 more hours 140 more hours oh my god this guy has 471 hours hold on that's that's close to how many hours i haven't paid a2 and i've had this game for seven years holy crap and he only played it for about a day at the time oh my is this also a really long one? Oh my god it is kind of long holy crap he reviewed it at 200 hours everything behind a paywall terrible and then he played it for another 150 hours <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yep, here we go. Jackpot. 532 hours, 200 hours at review time. So you played an extra 330 hours. This is an okay-ish game. IMO, I would rate it 6.9 out of 10. There's also novels and comics that go into the lore of the game as well. Right here. I might review them. Sure, the girls are sexy, but in a world where every woman in the game is now shaped like a Twitter potato, it is very refreshing. Oh my, holy crap, 630 hours. Pretty fun for a waifu simulator in alpha. You don't say. You don't say you played an extra 200, 400 hours. Deagle Florp, what are you doing? Playable and fun and it really is free, unless you want nudity. Oh man, I guess, I guess I won't play it then. 60 hours on record, big boobies. 